Yeah, ladies and gentlemen, you are welcome back to True Telling Time TV, your home of update. Eh? What I want you to keep in mind is because the ban on churches has been lifted, pastors have now started planning miracles they will be performing in the church. Eh? They are now, as they are sitting in their rooms now, the only thing they are planning is the miracle to perform at the church auditoriums. They are arranging with the actors. Yes, I call them actors because these pastors cannot perform miracle at the hospital. When a member is sick, when your mother is sick and you send your mother to the hospital before you invite your pastor, when he comes to the hospital, the only thing he can do is to give you money for your medications. The pastors can heal people, the sick people at the church alone. Why? Is your God limited to the church alone? Can the power of your God, eh, the, the power of your God, can it work at the church alone? It is because the real sick people at the hospital, those you see in the church, are actors. Pastors are now making calls to arrange with actors to defraud you. Wise up. Wise up. Because of what we are now doing, what I'm doing, I've started putting my number there. Pastors are calling again to threat me. Oh, wow. Pastors, you want to threat me? Dakoba, don't worry. You did it on Facebook. I didn't give up. Me, my subscribers, the followers, those who love the truth like me, they are my pride. I am proud of them. Subscribers of True Telling Time TV, followers of True Telling Time, those who love the truth, those who are following the truth, those who are helping to spread the truth, they are my pride. Not you, the hungry pastors. Not you who put upon yourself, who call yourself pastors, men of God. As if the rest are sheep. If you are the man of God, the members, are they the chickens of God? Member, are you thinking about this? Somewhere in the Bible, they say Jesus is the lamp of God. Somewhere in the Bible, Jesus said he is the good shepherd. Have you seen a shepherd who is a sheep before? How can the sheep be a shepherd? Have you thought about this? Have you thought about it? Think about this carefully. Think about this carefully. These pastors, these men of God, as you call them, they can't help you. They cannot even help their own fellow. They can't help their, their brothers who are also pastors. Do you remember Apreku, my daughter, and Kumchacha? Do you know the relationship between Kumchacha and Apreku, my daughter? Have you seen the end of Apreku, my daughter? While Kumchacha is there, driving in luxurious cars, wearing beautiful and heavy shoes and clothes yes it is his life but was he able to give a helping hand to apreku my daughter if these pastors if this prophet cannot help their fellow pastors how much will you how much more you a member if kumchacha can't help apreku my daughter if obofo reverend obofo can't help obini to meet his bail conditions. If also Bempa and Bedu Kobi problem comes among them because of politics, how much more you a member? Because also Bempa is NPP, because Bedu Kobi is an NDC, they don't want to clash anymore. How much more you, an NDC member? In the church of Ousu Bempa, how much more you, any PP member in the church of Bedu Kobi? Are you thinking about this? Are you thinking about this? These pastors cannot help their own fellow pastors. How much more you, a member, think about this, my brother and sister? Me, those who love the truth like me, they are my pride. Already, I told you that we know where we come from. And we know where we are going to. We know our destination. Think about this carefully. Think about this carefully. 
you have not been in church for about two months now. With all due respect, no wizard or witches has knocked at your door. No wizard or witches eh, drank your blood. No wizard or witches killed you over these two months that you stayed in the house. Who told you that without the church, the wizard and the witches are going to kill you? Why there's no witches and wizard in the in, in the schools? Why there's no witches and wizard in the mosque? Only in the church, only in the Christian dome that we have witches and wizard. And away, way, way. Sometimes I blame the food and drug authority. Sometimes I blame the food and drug authority. If you, you watching this video, if you come out with a medicine a medicine now let's say even covid 19 this covid 19 let's say you come out now with a medicine for coronavirus disease the food and drug authority will ask you to bring the damn medicine for them to test it before but in the church people are selling apple in the church people are rebranding people's water people are taking awake mineral water and pastors are putting their sticker on it People are rebranding businessmen's product in the church and are selling. The Abefonku is it vetted and approved by the Food and Drug Authority? No, you are there and they are selling it. You are not talking. You are not talking. So for about two months now, you have not been into church. No wizard or witch has killed you. What shows that for the next, the rest of your life? If you have not been into church, they will kill you. What is your reason? What at all do you want in life, brothers and sisters? Always we talk about this Christian because you will not see when have you boarded a bus and you see a man -lam preaching in the bus, only the Christians. Christianity is to you have to accept it by force. They will create the fear and the product. And because you fear hell, because you fear the wizard and witches, you will buy the product they are selling to you. Pastors, they don't pay tight. But they are richer than you are. Malachi chapter 3, the verse number 10. Bring the full amount of your tithe to the temple. And I will open the heavenly windows for you. And I will pour the blessings upon you. You will be blessed than any other person on earth. Imagine from the beginning, you started paying tight till now. Where is your blessing? When have you seen your pastor with envelope, with money within it, giving it to the treasure as a tight? Have you seen your pastor paying tight before? But they are the people. The Malachi chapter 3, verse 10 to 11 is working for. Malachi chapter 3, verse 10 to 11 is working for the pastors, not for the members who are paying the tithe. Do you believe in this Bible? Do you still believe in this Bible? To be the word of God? My brothers and sisters, especially you who are following through Telling Time TV, who are opening a video with Yashwe, I'm calling upon you. Wise up. Plan your future. Start planning your future. Let the end of Apreku, my daughter, be an example for you as a pastor, as a member. It is an example for me, Dakoba, that in difficult moment, that is where you will see those who love you. Remember, a friend in need is a friend indeed. A friend in need is a friend indeed. It is the end of Apreku, my daughter, that shows us the kind of friendship he has with Kum Chacha. This is not a personal attack. Let us face the truth. So I am saying, wise up. Plan your future. Don't be fooled with Matthew chapter 6, the verse number 34, which says, don't think about tomorrow. Matthew chapter 6, verse 34, don't think about tomorrow. Tomorrow will find for itself. It is a lie. It is a lie. Tomorrow will not find for itself. You are to prepare a tomorrow today. It is today that we prepare the tomorrow. Be careful. Be careful. Remember to grow. Remember to keep people who will help you grow as a company. Wise up. Wise up. Wise up.
ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, let us rise up through telling time. Show hope of update. Subscribers, followers, those who share the video, those who leave the comments behind, you are our pride. You are the pride of Sesa Dakoba and Abraham bin Moshe. We are proud of you. You who accept the truth. Africa will work again. Africa will work again. Kojon Kassan Lewin, what do you have to tell us? The Bible or common sense? Which of them do you have to use? Lewin, tell us. Use your common sense.